What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is the Poke Trainer Lair. Today we have a different style of video. I've never done a video like this on the channel as of yet, but as you guys can tell from the title, we're gonna be playing some Pokemon TCG Live and this is the first time I've ever done this. Now it's gonna be a little bit different than what you guys are probably used to seeing on YouTube, uh, content creators doing competitive battles and stuff like that. I'm not the greatest competitive TCG player, but I'm taking my stab at it and see what we can get done. Now it's gonna be a little bit different and hopefully this can provide a little bit of an explanation for every video that we do, if we continue to do these, we're gonna be taking a specific deck, we're gonna go into the deck tester just to be able to see all the cards and all the functions and everything. So we're gonna do like a test game and then we're gonna do a casual battle with somebody live and then we're gonna throw it into a ranked battle which I'll probably get decimated in. But that's kind of the point of the video. We're gonna see the deck in three different styles, kind of learning the deck, then playing casually and then going in to see how we fare in a ranked battle. So if you're excited for that kind of video, be sure to leave a like down below and drop a comment and let me know what you guys think of this type of content. It is something new that I decided to start on the channel, especially when there's gaps between openings and between sets coming out. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I wanna do to fill in those gaps obviously we have the pokemon news videos and i figured maybe there's something different that we can try and see how it goes so let me know in the comment section what you guys think apologies for the long intro i just wanted to kind of explain what are we going to be doing in these type of videos hopefully if we do some more it'll be a quicker transition but yeah hope you guys stay tuned and let's go over to the computer screen into ptcg live and see what we got going on today All right, you guys, so we're on the computer screen, on live. We're in my deck builder right here. Um, as you can see up here in the corner, I'm not the most competitive person on this game. I don't have like a, a bajillion coins and the purple crystal joints and these little things right here. So <laughs> obviously I'm more of like a casual player just for fun, just when I'm bored at work and stuff like that, um, get into the game and just play a little bit, you know? Um, I do play the card game. I'm just not like super good at it. Um, I guess I'm okay. But yeah, you're gonna see how good or bad I am throughout these videos. Probably some videos I'm gonna be doing super good and then other videos I'm probably getting killed. So yeah, um, this is my deck builder thing. Um, there's a lot of generic uh, decks down here like the Charizard EX, the Champau EX that the game gives you. Um, obviously, I don't have many custom decks built. The Loyal 3 one, I kind of just upgraded the one that they give you in the game. But today we're going to be taking a look at my favorite Pokemon, Blastoise EX. Um, or not Blastoise EX, but Blastoise is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> but I built a Blastoise EX deck right here using Chen Pao and the Frigibax, Baxcalibur engine. Um, I added a Pidgeot. Uh, well, let's look at the card list real quick. We have a Chen Pao. We have two of those, Chen Pao EX. Uh, obviously, we have a 3 2 lineup of Frigibax with Baxcalibur. No Artibax. Decided to leave it out. Greninja, obviously. We have a 4 1 1. No, excuse me. A 4 1 3 Blastoise line. There's the Blastoise EX. With twin cannons, discard up to two basic water energy from your hand, and you can do up to 280 damage. Solid shell, you take 30 less damage we have the rotom v for some draw pidgey two one pidgey line and then for your trainers you got a four buddy buddy poffin four rare candy two super rod some energy retrievals i believe i have three in there two ultra balls artisan and lake acuity for your stadiums and for some support we got your boss's orders iono kind of typical you got a irita or irida and professor's research got a big air balloon kind of if you want to retreat one blast was ex to another and you have a four seal stone to find whatever card that you may want obviously you attach this to the rotom v you can only attach it to v pokemon and the Blastoise that doesn't have a big air balloon, you're gonna attach the Maximum Belt A-Spec card. This is kinda just to be able to take out Charizards if you ever come across them. And then uh, 10 Water Energy to round it out. Um, Blastoise EX. But like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing these type of videos like in three stages. We're gonna do a test round. 
and we're gonna do a casual battle and we're gonna do a ranked battle and probably get destroyed but you know whatever entertains y'all <laughs> is what i'm here for so we're gonna just go ahead and choose heads this is a test battle so we're not gonna be getting killed <laughs> for lack of better term this kind of be able to test run the deck see how it kind of synergizes and, and and functions and stuff like that so the opponent's gonna go first it looks like um i'm just gonna mute this here so we're starting off with two frigid backs and one pidgeots we can't play the pidgeots so we're gonna have to drag in the frigid backs we do got buddy buddy poffin which if you guys aren't familiar with the game, this kind of video kind of is going to help you guys out as well. Hopefully it does. The Buddy Buddy Poffin gives you two 70 HP or less Pokemon right onto your bench. So we're going to definitely get some Squirtles, a Pidgey out for sure, so we can use Pidgey out. So it looks like we're playing against Chimpow EX. Um, I doubt it's going to be running Blastoise. It's probably going to be running like Palkia maybe, but I don't know what the test deck um, uses I think this might be the generic test uh, test deck that you guys get in the game um, So let's see man. We're gonna it's our turn here We're gonna play the buddy buddy poffin and see if we can get a Pidgey and a Squirtle out probably Yeah So this is also a good way to inspect what's in your deck so you can kind of see what you may prize and stuff like that. It looks like our War Turtles prized. What else? Maybe a Rare Candies prize. I have four of them, I have one in hand. So yeah, that's a good way to kind of see what's inside of your deck. But yeah, we're gonna put on a Pidgey and Squirtle on here. And kind of, let's see, we're gonna attach the water to the Squirtle. Oh my God, look, I gave it to the Pidgey on accident. <laughs> you see what I mean, man? Like, my hand, like, I don't know what happened there. That's a crazy whiff. But that's a blooper for y'all, man. <laughs> that's, it went to the Pidgey, man. I don't know why. Oh, my gosh. But um, I guess we'll put a Frigibax down as well, just in case it gets attacked on. Put the Lake of Cutie down and just end turn. Man, I can't believe I did that. But whatever, man. Hopefully it doesn't happen in the casual or rank battle, but that, that's that's... It is what it is, man. Um, obviously the test system game is not gonna go too crazy on me, probably. It's just, you know, it's just gonna do what it is. Uh, I'll tell you this, I've never lost against the test, the test deck thing, but I probably lose today since I'm recording it, right? So that's definitely gonna happen. But let's see what happens. We've got the super energy retrievals are putting some energy into their hand and they're gonna attack my frigid bags and he's dead. All right, that's wonderful, man. Okay, um, so Pidgey out, the good thing about him, it has no retrieve cost. So we're gonna put the Pidgey out there, even though it has the wasted energy. Oh man, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna rare candy the Pidgey into the Pidgeot. Okay, do that, and let's see. We're gonna use its ability, Quick Search. Quick Search gets you any deck, or sorry, any card out of your deck that you may want. Um, to be honest, shoot. Let's see, I have no idea what to even grab at this point. Um. I think I'm gonna go Iono, just to get a six card hand. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that to kind of refresh my hand. So Iono, it, um, you put your cards in your back into your deck and then you draw the amount of cards that you have prize cards, matching your prize cards remaining. So I'm gonna get six cards and then my opponent will get five. So this is nice here, sort of. I'm gonna put a Radiant Greninja down. We're gonna give an energy to the Squirtle, which I was, I was trying to do to begin with. We're gonna conceal cards with Radiant Greninja, so you can discard one Water Energy and draw two cards. So we're gonna put Water Energy in the discard and draw two cards. And we are... 
Man, I'm, I have to retreat to the Pidgeot. You know what? We're going to leave him out there because the Chimpow doesn't have any energy on it. And we're just going to pray it doesn't wipe out Pidgeot. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't want to lose anybody on my bench. That's the thing. And I messed up by giving the other fridge backs, or sorry, I messed up giving the Pidgey an energy where I could have have a Squirtle ready to go to attack. But <laughs> it is what it is, man. Let's see, man. Let's see what we can do here. We might be able to attack next turn. Hopefully the Pidgeot stays alive. Okay. So it's my turn. So they couldn't attack, which is good and good for us. So we draw into Iono, but we're going to be using Irida. So Irida is, use, lets you get one water Pokemon, which we're going to be doing Chimpow EX. And it lets you get one item, and we're going to be doing Rare Candy. Right? See, I wish I had two Rare Candies. Okay, so we're going to do this. Let's do this. I'm going to get the Chimpow EX and the Rare Candy. We're going to put the Chimpow on the bench. We're going to retreat the Pidgeot so it's a free retreat. Bring in Chimpow. And we're going to Rare Candy the Frigibax into Bax Caliber. And the Bax Caliber, you can pretty much attach any water energy to any Pokemon you may like, but we don't have any water energy right now, but Chimpow's Shivery Chill gets you two basic energy into your hand. And now we're going to use Quick Search. And we're gonna get another Rare Candy. And obviously we're gonna use that to evolve the Squirtle into Blastoise. And we're gonna go ahead and attach the water energy to the Blastoise and kind of end our turn there. Yeah, let's do that. So as you can see, kind of what we're trying to do, we're trying to build up the Blastoise to attack. So they're gonna use Shivery Chill as well. They're gonna use Conceal cards to draw some more cards. So they're like drawing everything. Everything that I need to draw is what they're drawing. But let's see. Now, one water energy, so they attacked. So I'm pretty much dead next turn. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're going to quick search. Hmm. Don't know what I may need, maybe. Oh, so the Rotom is prize. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the superior energy retrieval just for like next turn, even though, I don't know, I may have wasted that. I'm gonna do Shivery Chill. So what we wanna do is get some energy into our discard pile while attacking. So what we could do is go super cold. We're gonna attach the energy to to Chimpow, okay, and um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and attack and wipe out the Chimpow. So what we could do, we're gonna discard this energy. We're gonna discard. So that's sixty. So Chimpow's attack does um, 60 per every energy that you discard. So that's 120. 
180. And that's... Yeah, I think that should be enough to kill the Chen Pao. Yeah, 240. So Chen Pao, it's an EX, so we're going to get two prize cards. Right there. It's a War Turtle and the Rare Candy. They're going to bring in their Arctic back. So we're kind of in the lead right now against the Tester. And um, let's see how we doing. Hopefully we can do some good plays here next. Bax Caliber, they might attack with it maybe. Yeah, they're gonna put some energy on the Bax Caliber. Oh no, they're not gonna put any energy on Bax Caliber. I would've put some energy on Bax Caliber and attack, then you would've beaten the Chimp Pow, but it is a test uh, version of, of this deck, so they're not, they're not going hardcore on me, obviously. Now, what we're gonna do, we have all this energy in our discard pile. What we're gonna do is we're gonna knock out one of their bigger Pokemon again. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use boss's orders. So what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna try to knock out that Chimpao. Cause that's probably our biggest threat. So we're gonna use boss's orders, or actually. Yeah, okay, so what first we're gonna do, Shivery Chill, get some energy, okay? Get some energy. We're gonna use Bax Caliber and Super Cold to attach the energy to Chim Pao, okay? And we're gonna retreat it. So we're gonna put more energy in the discard. We're gonna drag out our Blastoise, ready to go. Now, what we'll do is do superior energy retrieval, which lets us get four energy from our discard pile into our hand. So we're gonna get four of these things. Bag it to our hand, right? And we don't need Box Caliber to attach anything. We're just gonna go boss's orders which makes your opponent, or you can choose your opponent's Pokemon to switch in. And now Blastoise is gonna take care of the Chim Pao. You get this warning, because you didn't attach an energy for your turn, but it doesn't matter, because we're gonna attack, and if we discard two energy from our hand, now we're taking out the Chim Pao. And we get two prize cards, and we're two away from winning. And we're probably going to do that next turn. I'll probably quick search with Pidgeot, get another boss's orders, and drag out the Luminion and kind of do the same thing. And we win the game that way. Um, but yeah, let's see. They're going to do their thing. Let's see. Kind of started off slow, kind of messed up that Pidgey energy attachment. But luckily, it's just a test game, and the game is not going too hard on us, obviously. Kind of get the feel for the deck and let's see, let's see. All right, for kicks and giggles, we're gonna just attach the maximum belts to the Blastoise. You kind of want to do that if you're playing against Charizard because it does 30, uh, it does 330 damage when you discard, when you attack, discard two energy and then the maximum belt, you do 50 more damage. So we're gonna um, quick search. With the Pidgeot, we're gonna get another boss's orders, and we're just gonna drag out the Luminion to finish this test game. Because Luminion, if you destroy it, beat it, kill it, knock it out, you get two prize cards. And so 140. So 140 plus the 50, 140 plus the 50 should be enough to take out the Luminion. Oh, wait. <laughs> Maximum Bell only does 50. All right, good thing is a test. Maximum Bell only does 50 more damage against EX Pokemon. Kind of kind of forgot about that. So Luminion is still alive, but it's gonna die next turn. It's okay. I kind of whiffed that one, but you know, that's why we're here. I've told you again, I'm not the most competitive player. 
of this game. We do this for fun, man. We do this for fun. And yeah, we're just gonna attack one more time. <laughs> Luckily, we have another energy in hand, so there's that. And yeah, <laughs> that should have been done last turn, but there it is. We got our last two prizes, the Rotom, and I don't know what else. Oh, did we already get the Rotom? Oh, we got the Rotom last time. So there's the win against the test dummy, with, for lack of a better term. All right, we're in a casual match now with the Blastoise EX deck. We're waiting for our opponent to choose heads or tails, and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can win the casual game, and because I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose the ranked one, but who knows? Who knows? We're gonna find out. Um, let's see what we got. Opponent's gonna go first, so we're gonna go second. So I guess that's okay because we can use a supporter card. Um, if you guys didn't know, supporters you can only use on your second turn. You can't use it on your first turn unless the card says you can, like Carmine. Carmine, you can use it on your first turn. But we don't have any Carmine in the deck. We're playing Reggie Drago V, and this is like one of the best decks in the game. We're probably going to lose. <laughs> but we'll see. Let's see what happens. Maybe we get lucky. Let's see. Got two Ultra Balls of Star. We have like the worst hand ever, man. We really, really do. I'm going to have the Iono. Probably put the Artisan down. Yeah, we're probably going to put the Artisan down and Iono. Even though they use their whole hand, I don't want to give them a, a new hand. Yeah, I can't Iono. <laughs> I can't Iono right now. I really cannot Iono. I don't want to give them another hand. I'm going to put another Fidgey bags down. I'm going to play the Artisan. So Artisan, you can get any basic Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box. So this is a regular basic Pokemon down. Um, we might as well bring the Pidgey in. Yeah, we're going to have to bring the Pidgey in. So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna Ultra Ball, an Ultra Ball, and a Super out of way. And hopefully we have Rotom in the deck. Okay, we have Rotom in the deck. We're gonna go Rotom, attach the forest, seal stone. Now we can get any card that we want for the V-Star power. So what we're gonna do is gonna get a, we're gonna get a professor's research so instead of giving them a full hand by using iono we're gonna use professor's research and replenish our hand just like that i'm gonna go i'm gonna go chen pao and attach to the chen pao and to finish our turn we're gonna use road and v's Instant charge ability, so we draw three cards and that'll end our turn. And now we pray they don't kill us right now. Let's see. So they got two cards in hand. They're going to attach the energy. They're most likely going to attack. They do 130, I think. I don't even know. I've never played against this deck before. I don't know what it can do. This is my first time going around, so it does thir okay, 30, 30 to the bench and killing my frigid box. Okay, all right. All right, let's bring in the Chimpow. Maybe we can beat it right now. Maybe we can. So we have box caliber in the in the in hand, so this rare candy. Yeah, let's let's put down Squirtle. Let's do Rare Candy Box Caliber. We're going to use Shivery Chill. Let's put another Squirtle down just in case. And let's put another Squirtle down. Um, we're going to use Shivery Chill. Get some more water energy in the hands. So we need 220, so we need, we're gonna need all four energy to take him out. Okay, so let's do Irida. I don't know why we did this, but hopefully they don't destroy our hand next turn. 
We'll do rare candy Blastoise just to have it in hand now. Hopefully they don't disrupt our hand. I might have misplayed that. Okay, so we're gonna do back Caliber. And we knew it we need to attach two to attack. So that's 120. 180. 180. 240. And we're gonna attach one more here. And we're gonna attack. And get rid of that first ready drago. So we're gonna go one. I think that should be enough. My math is correct. Okay, cool. 240. The Reggie Drago's down. We get two uh, two prize cards. They still got a Reggie Drago with two cards in hand. So let's see what we got going on here. Got a War Turtle Blastoise combo out of the prize cards. Let's see. Nest Ball. Let's see. Let's see. What, what does Ogre Pond even do? And they retreat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we actually want that one. Wow. I'm actually happy, bro. Like, they retreated. <laughs> hey, man. Hopefully. Hey, it, it's just. It's just. It just happens, man. You get a bad hand and it just happens. All right, so we're now going into ranked. Um, hopefully you saw that before it cut away. Um, so we're in ranked. Let's see what we have. Java Hop 1. Last game for the Blastoise EX. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the content. Um, as mentioned, I don't play this like competitively. This is the first time I'm doing this for the YouTube channel and I'm low key scared as to what may happen. I'm probably gonna get embarrassed because it's ranked and Blastoise EX is not like the biggest, craziest deck in the meta. I just created this cause I like Blastoise, man. But I we both mulliganed. So mulligans when you don't have a basic Pokemon in hand, um, that's my mulligan. And there's that. So there is my hand and I'm starting off with Rotom, which is bad because I don't want Rotom out there because it's two prize cards and they're using Lugia, which is one of my favorite decks in the game right now. And I'm kind of sad because I'm going to get killed by Lugia and I'm not ready. So they're starting off with Rear Deer in the trekking shoes. Okay. This, this, I have like the worst hand ever. I, I probably don't, but maybe I do. We're probably gonna go buddy, buddy, poffin to get a, a, a Pidgey and a Squirtle down, or a Pidgey and a Fridge box down. Let's see what we draw. Okay, Chimpow. That's okay. Let's go, buddy, buddy, poffin. Let's do Fridge box. Pidgey will wait on the Squirtle. Cause I need to have Bax Caliber and Pidgey all ready to go. Right? So um we do is we can go attach to the road arm so we can retreat it. Get Chimpow out there. Um That's pretty much all we can do. I don't want to use Shivery Chill because I can't even attach the energy. So as long as it matters, it's already attached for my turn, so. And I don't want to use Professor's Research because I have a Ray Candy and a Pidgeot ready to go for next turn. So let's just instant charge, get three cards in hand, and move on. Let's see what our opponent has for us. I'm very scared. <laughs> and there's no shame in retreating if it goes bad. If I have nothing to do, I'm going to probably retreat. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, let's see what they got. They got Regenerative Energy. Okay. And they're just gonna read the wind. So they're kind of breaking their hand a little bit. They just went with the read the wind. All right, so let's go rare candy, Pidgeots. Okay. Let me go quick search 
for the Bax Caliber. I don't think I have enough for to take down the Lugia. I may not. Hmm. energy there let's go with shivery show we want to take out the lugia maybe we can force them to retreat if we take out the lugia we might force them to retreat <clears throat> so let's go it let's go let's go crazy let's let's just do so we're gonna attach all the energy to shin power right now so that's 60 120 180. ah oh, man um i'm gonna regret putting these two in the in the in the discard pile we're gonna use professor's research and hope we get an energy if we get an energy bro we i think we might have gotten them to retreat <laughs> put the squirtle down and then add Another energy to the Chimpow, and you might as well add one to the Squirtle Boy. You know what? Let's save this in case we want to Greninja next turn. I'm not going to Greninja right now. So we got 240, and we can take out the Lugia. Let's see what happens now. We take out the Lugia. All these four energies go to the discard. We take out the Lugia, get two prizes. And let's see what happens. Let's see what they have. They have a full seven card hand, so they could mount a comeback here. But it just remains to be seen. Hopefully, we can pull this off. Hopefully, we can pull this off. They need to put a card. Uh, they need to put a basic Pokemon down. Because if I am able to attack next turn, the game's over. They're putting another Weird Deer. They're ultra bond, so they're getting Pokemon. They're gonna be. They, they might. They can. They can stay in this game. Um, but let's see what happens here. Looks like they're gonna get a Lugia down. Doesn't seem like they've been able to get any Archeops in the discard pile. What are they gonna do? So that does a hundred. We're gonna take them out right now, though. <clears throat> Definitely gonna take them out. Okay, so we need a rare candy for Blasty Boy. Let's go with Shivery Chill. Get some waters. Oh, one more water in there. Okay. So. We're gonna go Irida for a rare candy. And another water Pokemon. How many Squirtles do we have out? One? So maybe put a, another Squirtle out there just in case. In case they try to do something. So we're going to Rare Candy the Squirtle to the Blasty Boy. We're going to do Super Energy Retrieval. We're going to discard Pidgey. We don't want to use Iono because we're going to give them a full hand. We're going to get four Energies in hand we're gonna attach with super cold we're gonna attach two to chim pow two to blastoise okay, right yes i'm gonna do that two in hand so we can attack with blastoise we're gonna retreat the chim pow Go into the blast. And we're gonna quick search just for to be able to get a card. Um, let's go ahead and get is there another super energy retrieval in there? Yeah, perfect. So we'll get that. Super energy retrieval for next turn. I'm gonna get some water real quick. 
needed that. All right, to finish it off, <laughs> um, we're gonna attack with Blastoise. Does 280 if you discard the two energy in hand. So you basically wanna always have four energies in play in total, two on the Blastoise, two in hand, so you can attack and do full damage. We're gonna take two more prize cards. We have two remaining. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what they do this time. We should be able to win the game unless they pull off the craziest thing ever. But we do have superior energy retrieval. So we can get all the energies and if they take out the Blastoise somehow, we can attack full force with the, and they concede. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. They concede, brother, let's go. Um, we win. Um, Blastoise EX beats Lugia because they bricked, okay? Don't get it twisted. I got lucky they were bricking. They weren't, they didn't even have any Archeops out. They didn't have Lugia V-Star out yet. They were just drawing a bunch of, a bunch of weird ear. So <laughs> Blastoise EX somehow beat Lugia because they bricked, but that happens. It does happen. Don't get it twisted. All right, so guys, that is it for me and my first PTCG live video here on the channel. Blastoise EX did a couple battles, did a test run, a casual battle, and then the ranked battle. And yeah, we, we got some dubs, super lucky on my part. To be honest, my opponents were breaking. The two actual opponents, the, the test thing doesn't count, but you already know. Let me know in the comments section if you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys wanna see me do more of these, um, leave a like as well if you enjoyed the content. Really, really appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as well down below if you haven't done so already. Lastly, if you're gonna buy any deck boxes, card sleeves, binders, check out my links down below as always to Vaults X. And if you wanna save some money and support the channel, use my code PTLayerVX at checkout. But with all that being said, I wanna thank you guys again for taking this Pokemon journey with me. I'll see you back here for the next video. You guys have a good day. Peace.